Hey, what's up? It's Tom. I'm out here in the shop again. Just going to go over a few of the planned uh, upgrades or mods or hacks, whatever you want to call it, um, for this RC wheelchair robot. So I've been kind of messing around with it a little bit, and it's uh, fast and quick, so I think it's time to move forward. We tested it out, and, you know, big thing, we got to get all the electronics mounted. The double-sided sticky tape just doesn't work, and I'm going to wreck that controller for it when it's just you know, smacking around down there. So, got to get the electronics all enclosed. I need to get a fuse in here and a kill switch um, so that I don't fry the speed control if something were to happen. And then I need to figure out the charging. So I have this Norco Genius Charger and they make these panel mount connectors, not this one specifically, but they make panel mount charge connectors um, which I'm gonna pick one off up off of I'm gonna pick one up off of Amazon and incorporate that into the system and I want to have a toggle switch so it can be charge off and then on you know so when it's charging there gets no power to the uh, speed controller and when it's on the you know it's not charging and so like a three-way toggle switch or something like that. I haven't quite decided how I want to handle it. And then I have a this receiver as a third channel. So I want to get a little relay so I can put some lights on this thing. And then yeah, just button up the electronics. Get the armor kind of plate that I have for the top on there. Kind of want to repaint um, the silver and these yellow springs so it looks a little bit more cool and a little less wheelchair like and maybe I don't know do something with these and maybe get some better tires on there so that's my plan for now uh, stay tuned or subscribe or whatever you do on YouTube in case you want to see any more updates um, I'm gonna have a lot more once I get some of the parts in so thanks for watching